Okay, just gonna get straight into it, guys. We've um, anchored on a very cool anchoring system, by the way, works very well. Um, transom platform here, plenty of space, professional engine mounting, super thick transom, as you would expect. And the swim ladder is deployed on the port side, and it's the kind of swim ladder that when it is deployed, two stainless steel handles come up so you can pull yourself up and out of the water. Um, on the port side, we have fuel filters. So that's super handy just in here. I love um, having good access to fuel filters because I've, I've had issues in the past on other boats when I need to get to them and they're down under the floor, out of the way and it's inconvenient. So you have a shower just here. There are rod holders dotted all the way around the boat, but there's uh, two, two uses for them. I'll explain that in a tick. Um, this sun lounge is massive. So if you've had like an Axapar 28 before, um, this will be double the size. It's really, really large. It feels quite beamy here. Um, it, it's, it's quite an expansive sun lounge. And there is something below it, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, moving your way up the sides, it's, it's uh, center line. So you've got equal amount of space on either side, and then you get into the heart of the boat here, which is multifunctional, as you would expect on a style of boat like this. It's uh, very much set up for high speed driving, which we spoke about, but then you can alter it into the social setup. So these seats will spin around and face aft. There is an optional table to go in the middle, but there's also another table option up in the bow. Underneath me, we have uh, one of two fridges. So there's one here, 52 litre capacity, and there's another one here, and they just hinge up like that. 52 litres, electric fridges, there you go. So that's pretty handy. And underneath each of these seats here, you have deep storage as well. And that would even work as an esky as well. So same again on the starboard side. Um, drinks, uh, you got holders on port and starboard. That's well, probably good for the guests because the skipper has got his or her own chilled drink holder. This is so cool, I love it. I wanna see that on more boats, very, very cool. Whilst we're here, we might as well go through the helm itself. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, the Yamaha joystick, the zip wakes, so they're probably gonna do away with them. Didn't, don't need them on this hull. Battery on and off. This is the anchor operation, on and then uh, down up. Um, this is your autopilot for the Yamaha. Um, bilge system, navigation lights, anchor light, horn, phone holder, Yamaha digital diagnostics display here, dual screens just here, and this is a custom display for Sturk, which can uh, basically connect to the internet and do all sorts of updates. Um, it's very high tech and you can even download things like apps on it and uh, Netflix and all that sort of stuff. Um, power, start stop for your motors is uh, immediately below the helm. Um, we've got this nice leather wrapped race steering wheel which is adjustable. I do like um, the positioning of the throttle uh, next to the wheel. You are tucked in nice and tight, great for high speed stuff. And you do use your safety on this boat, so it's good having that in a um, handy place uh, where it needs to be. Uh, tucked in next to the helm, and I would say also just next to this uh, navigator seat are some small little uh, storage areas, great for phones and wallets. Got some speakers on either side. And the, the floor design, you may or may not see that, but the lower floor curves up like this, which is also quite nice and comfortable when, you, when you're in this stance just here. And then when you elevate yourself, or if you elevate yourself, you kind of go like that. So that's kind of nice. And you would also, when you've got the bolster down, go like that. These seats go forward and aft. So uh, I've got short legs. If you have long legs, no problems. The handle's just here somewhere. I did it on that one, it just wasn't that hard it'll just slide back. So that's the go there. We've got another little glove box in here. Um, this is a matte color, so no reflection in your eyes. So that's good. And the windscreen did provide plenty of protection from the wind. So if you're driving on a cold day or if you're just doing 50 knots and you had a bit of wind chill, it's gonna be okay. So in the middle of the boat on either side, okay, we've got bilge pumps, bilge pump, manual bilge pump access on this side. The other side looked empty from memory. And I'm quite lucky today, I've got Carlos the designer <laughs> on board. And so if I get anything wrong, you can correct me. 
No, nothing wrong. It okay. says, uh, obviously, it says it's a prototype. Yep. There's a basket meant to be there, so you can put your ropes and any okay. other shoes or whatever you need. Perfect. Yeah. Yes, so don't forget, guys, this is a prototype. This is not the production version, as I mentioned before. Midships cleats here, water just here. I'm going to make my way up the port side because I've got fuel on this side. What was the fuel capacity again? 540 litres. 540 litres. So that's acceptable for a couple of 300s on the back of the boat. Note the stainless steel grab handle just here and making our way forward. Self-draining decks, I might add. So this is okay for keeping on a swing mooring, guys. Um, it's not going to be a problem. Good, nice, secure feeling as you make your way forward. You are sort of protected there and you've got something to hold on to. So there's, you, there's not great distances. You know, if you were rocking around a little bit, you've always got something to brace yourself. And then come and check this out. So this is quite deep, comfortable, social, good for four plus people. We have the table just in here. We actually have fender storage down there that actually also gives you, uh, you know, moderate access to some of your tankage. So all the tanks, all the variable weight, so holding tank, water tank, fuel tank, is down deep, low, and in the middle of the boat, sort of underneath uh, the helm where I was before, which is where you want it to be for weight distribution on a style of boat like this. So we've got storage underneath me. Um, I'll just open this one up just quickly. Okay, so you can see in there, and making our way around here, waist, and then I'm just gonna quickly show you the bow before I show you those carbon poles for the sunshade. So there are there are T-top options. Um, if I can get my if I can get my hands on a picture, I'll I'll link to that in the video. But this one's got a big sunshade. So this is the anchor setup, which is quite neat. So just pay attention to those uh, pneumatic. Uh, the pneumatic setup there. So when you deploy the anchor, it automatically pushes the bow roller or extends the bow roller. You do want that sort of distance on a flat stem bowed boat because the anchor is gonna be swinging and if you didn't have that distance, you're gonna clock the bow. I've done that on many other flat stem bow boats before and you end up just getting gel coat cracks. So that's not good. Um, cleats just there, drink holders here, navigation lights, on either side, all very nice. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't end there. So possibly the most luxurious head on this style of boat that I've seen. This thing is massive. Just, I'm gonna get in for perspective. Okay, look at this. I'm standing up. So blokes, like, you know, you could still stand up and do your thing, but sitting down in here, you've got heaps of space. It's, it's, it's really nice. We've got an opening window just here, another one here. They face forward, so they're going to draw air into this cabin and keep it uh, smelling good. We've got a little pull-out tap just here. This is actually a drain area, so you could use this, if I guess if you need it, for a shower. Storage in here and here. Uh, six pockets just along here. Some lights up here. And a, and a decent size loo. So I think that's cool. Very nice. So keep going. These are the poles that I was talking about before. So they're in their own storage areas. We were bashing through seas and getting airborne before, and they stayed in position. Carbon poles, they drop in these rod holders, which clearly, if you want to go fishing, you could use them as rod holders. That's fine. But it's also for giving you shade if you have this open version. So you wanted to know what was at the back of the boat? It's a double cabin. You can sleep on this. How cool is that? So basically, you access it from here. Okay, so what I was trying to explain to you before my microphone failed was this is easily the biggest cabin that I have seen on a boat in this category. You can sleep um, that way that you can see me right now, but you could also sleep forward and aft. She's got two opening windows, plenty of reading lights. You've got that uh, you know cushion all the way around the side to give you plenty of comfort and even some drink holders around the cabin. So it's just awesome for an overnight. It really is a proper sleeping cabin. But not only that, you've got a tent which protects the open door. All right, guys, I hope that was useful to you. I really enjoyed this. And Carlos, thank you for showing me around your design. Um, if you, well, you won't know, but I'm gonna tell you, he also designed the Tsar Imagine, which I've also tested and I'll link to at the end of this video. So that's uh, quite cool. I'm honored to, to you know, have your time. Um, this 
is a weapon. This is a hell of a lot of fun. This is possibly the fastest boat that many of you will experience. Um, should it be your first boat? No, no, you should have some experience if you're gonna get on this thing. You uh, don't get your learner driver's license and buy a Lamborghini. You, you should get into a, a regular car first. I think the same should be said with the Sturk. Uh, come from something else, cutting bow high performance, this is the next step. Um, this is something that will give you uh, that extra bit of excitement, that wider speed range. It's going to open your horizons even greater to what you are already used to. And it's just going to put a smile on your face. And that's why we do this. Uh, offshore capable, ridiculously fast in the flat stuff. Who wouldn't be excited? I certainly am. I hope that was useful to you guys. Dan Jones is my name. Subscribe. Give us a like if you enjoy this content. I'll see you on the next one.